Project Gigabyte today, and we're looking at the new P55A motherboards. These are a refresh of the original uh, P55 motherboards, and if you have a look on the package here, you can see the three main features, which are uh, USB 3, so it's a uh, higher speed, roughly 10 times faster than USB 2, USB power, which uh, increases the power output from each USB port and also SOLDER 3.0 which um, we'll see roughly around the 20 to 30 percent increase in performance. Okay what we're looking at here is an early revision of the P55A UD6 from Gigabyte. These boards will be coming out sometime in November so let's focus on some of the features that we just mentioned uh, from the package before. Uh, probably the big one that's going to be most uh, interesting for you folks is SATA 3. These two white slots, uh, white um, sockets here um, are SATA 3. Uh, under this uh, cooler right here is the Marvel controller. And at the moment you have uh, single drive support and RAID 0 support. Uh, moving to the back of the board at the I.O. panel here, these two blue slots here, they are USB slots and what they are, they are your two uh, USB 3.0 slots. Now keeping with the 333 theme of the Gigabyte P55A motherboards, the power output on these USB 3.0 ports have been increased from 900 milliamps to 2700 milliamps. So what that's going to do is uh, increase stability, the operation of the drives that you plug in, and it will also allow you to use a single cable to power pretty much all hard drives on the market. Now the same can be said for the USB 2.0 ports on this board. All of the USB 2.0 ports on this board have had the power increase from 500 milliamps to 1500 milliamps. Now uh, what you'll get here is a look at the new Chrome uh, socket uh, for the processor here. Now what's uh, important to note and what Gigabyte has told us is it's no longer, they're no longer using a Foxconn uh, socket. They're using a Lotus socket now because there has been some issues that have been reported online with the socket. So uh, no issues here. Gigabyte has uh, listened and they've replaced the socket and they've also done some color matching to sort of match the, the theme of the board with the cooler here. Now otherwise the board is pretty much the same. This is not a new board, it's a refresh of the original board. You know you've got the same 24 um, power phases here for the CPU You've got the same on-off uh, on power button here. Of course, here you've got the debug LED, and then there's also a uh, reset button here for overclockers. Now, moving back to the IO panel, uh, what you see here are two eSATA uh, USB combo ports here. Now, we've just been informed as well that uh, there have been some changes made to the BIOS for overclockers. Um, Gigabyte's ex not telling us exactly what has changed, but come launch day, uh, I guess you'll uh, find out. So this is our look at the P55A UD6, and now we're going to move over. We're going to move over, and we'll put this one to the side. And now we're looking at the P55A UD4P. Basically, you get the same changes that we saw on the UD6, uh, including uh, USB 3, uh, three times uh, USB power, and uh, SATA 3. So let's give you a. a Good look at this board as well. Uh, coming in here, these are your SATA 3 uh, slots here, powered by the Marvel controller, which again is under uh, this cooler here. There is the SATA 3 uh, labeled on the motherboard. Coming around to the back of the motherboard, again, like the UD6, you've got the these two blue slots here are USB 3. Now with um, the UD6 and the UD4P that we're looking at right here, Gigabyte has increased uh, or tripled the power output from uh, 900 uh, milliamps to 2700 milliamps. Now we come over here and you can see the USB ports. Now all of the USB ports on this motherboard have also had the power tripled uh, going along with the uh, 333 theme from Gigabyte. So 
The power output for the USB 2.0 ports, all of them on this board have been increased from 500 to 1500 milliamps as well. So again, just a reminder, this is not a new board, this is a refresh of the uh, P55 UD4P. So, um, you know, the differences between the UD6 and the UD4P is that the UD6 has 24 power phases, this has 16 power phases, uh, you've got uh, two, uh, uh, four rather, uh, memory slots compared to six on the uh, UD6 motherboard. What we'll show you here is you get a look at this NEC chip. Now that's one of the first things we spotted and it's new because that is what powers uh, SATA 3 on uh, this motherboard. Uh, DES of course, dual BIOS, uh, ATI, Crossfire X, SOI, 2 ounce copper PCB, uh, it's all labelled on here on the Gigabyte um, motherboard, all um, home theatre uh, certification by Dolby, uh, you know, the whole works. Gigabyte's managed to pack a whole bunch of features into this board. So that was the look at um, both of these boards here, side by side, get a bit of a look at them. We've uh, spoken to Gigabyte and they've told us these boards will be available sometime in November. We have no details on the prices yet, but the, you know, they're sure to be popular. Uh, they are future-proof, you know, you've got the USB 3.0, you've got SATA 3 and the triple times power on the USB slots on USB 2 and USB 3. So this has been uh, Cameron for Tweaktown, looking at two new uh, refreshed P55 motherboards from Gigabyte in Taipei.